Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video and the message is about patience. Now, what is patience? What does that mean to you? Does it mean you sit and you wait? Yeah, sometimes. Does it mean that you need to be patient with the process of whatever you're trying to achieve? Absolutely. Why does that saying come up, patience is a virtue? What does that mean? A virtue is a desirable trait, something that you wanna have. So what is the benefit of learning to be patient? Well, the, you know, the, the idea that comes to mind for me, I watched this video actually on YouTube, maybe a month ago, a month and a half ago, and it came up this idea, it's called Wu Wei, W-U-W-E-I, and it's basically uh, the Asian ideal or idea of letting things happen naturally and progressing naturally, just letting go, letting it happen. And so this idea of Wu Wei, I think, is all about patience. And you know, you may or may not have heard this analogy before, and uh, how it's applicable directly to your life. Well, whatever goals you're trying to achieve right now, whether it's a business goal, a money goal, a relationship goal, uh, you know, you're working out, you're getting in shape, whatever you're trying to move forward with. It's obvious, but we often forget that it can't happen overnight. If you go and you plant the seeds today for something that you want to realize, whether again, you know, we'll, we'll use uh, a business, right? That business is not gonna grow overnight. You have to put in the work, which is literally planting the seed, you know, doing whatever you need to do to set the foundation, which is tilling the soil. Then you need to go out and you need to water it and you need to wait. And the next day, you go and you check on it, and you water it, you give it a little love, you spend time with it, and you wait. And this is where the patience comes in, because I think the challenge for all of us, and I say this because this is what I'm experiencing right now as well, is that we want things to happen right away. We know where, especially if you know you're a competent, capable individual, and that your success is inevitable, it can be hard, and it can be challenging to wait. And then I think the irony of that is when we push really hard and we become impatient with what we're growing, we're not giving it enough time and in actual reality on an energetic level, we're blocking what wants to come through. We're blocking the bloom. You know, the analogy I'll use again is, is planting the seed and you want to see this fruit come up. If you go out there and you water it four times a day, you're killing that shit. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna kill all the hard work. So it's like, you're sitting there and this story of the bamboo tree, I don't know if you've heard this before, but I'm gonna share it with you. And this came up in a personal development course I did a while back, this idea of the bamboo tree. So the bamboo tree, I don't know if you're aware how it grows, the bamboo tree doesn't, shoot, uh, doesn't grow at all for five years. It literally does not sprout anything. And so you have to literally go out and water this bamboo tree for five years nothing's happening you're just going out and pouring water on a pile of dirt and you're like what the hell's going on like i don't understand like why isn't this like nothing's happening am i doing this right and you start questioning yourself you start getting frustrated right unless you understand how the bamboo tree grows after five years of growth underground with the bamboo tree within I think like a week or two weeks, or I mean, you'll get the point of what I'm trying to say. It literally sprouts up like 40 feet within like a few weeks. So after five years of absolutely nothing happening, all of a sudden that bamboo tree, it shoots up and it grows. But man, what patience to bring it back to the theme that we're talking about. What patience that you have to have in order for these things to happen. We've got to be patient. We've got to put in the work and I think what I'm realizing is, I was thinking about it this morning and what I wanted to talk about was, you know, with patience, I think there's an element of faith involved too, right? It's that you're putting in this work, you're doing what you know you need to be do, doing, but you're not seeing the results yet. So there's an element of operating on faith that trusting in what you're doing and your process is going to yield the results that you want to see, even if they're not immediate, especially if they're not immediate. Right, uh, so it's, again, I think learning to be graceful with the process, with trusting the process, learning what patience is, and I see it as like learning how to swing a baseball bat 
or learning to meditate or learning a language. It's all patience, but it's patience and along with that is practice. So patience and learning patience, it's a practice. You've got to practice patience. And I think the more that we practice patience, the better at it we get. And the first step in practicing it is becoming aware. So ask yourself right now, and let's do this again, man. Take a deep breath, because sometimes what happens is when I'm starting to rap, I'm starting to talk about this stuff, man, I can feel it like I need to breathe, right? So let's just take a deep breath. And just like check in with yourself, man. What's your body like right now? Do you feel frustrated? Do you feel like, shit, man, this is intense? Breathe, relax, take a deep breath. And now we get to check in with ourselves. And now, hopefully, you allowed yourself to actually breathe. Let's do one more time. Inhale. Just center yourself. And like step outside of yourself, right? See yourself from your friend's point of view or like whatever your story is, let's do that. Pretend this is your best friend telling you their story, but it's your story. Does that make sense? So what you're doing is you're looking at yourself through your through your best friend's shoes or you're looking at your best friend like this is their, their story but it's your situation so what is it you're trying to do let's take like a business idea let's take getting in shape okay well let's do fitness getting in shape you have this idea of the body that you want to create and that you are working super hard to do it and you're doing all these right things but your body just isn't quite changing yet right are you frustrated? Are you being discouraged? Do you Are you questioning yourself? Are you feeling like it's not working? Are you confused as if what you're doing is actually going to yield the result? Now, there's two things we can look at here. Do we need to exercise more patience and operate on faith that the results will come? Because in your heart, when you literally put your hands over your heart, and you check in, you go, I know that I'm doing the right thing. I know that this is what my body wants. It's what it needs. It just needs a little more time to adapt and to change. If the answer is yes, then it's about patience. Then it's about relaxing, putting in the work, trusting in the process. Now, if you ask yourself that and you actually feel really confused or in your gut, you feel like maybe your workouts or your program is not the right fit for you and that you need to be doing something else, well, then it might be time for a change. It might be time for a pivot. It might be time to evaluate what your game plan is, what your strategy is. And you will know, and I think that's also part of it, is trusting your intuition and your gut. And I'll make a whole nother video about your intuition, how to get in touch with that voice in your heart, because that is really the voice that is guiding you <clears throat> along the path for you to be happy, for you to you know, be with the man or woman you want to be with, for you to make the money you want to make, for you to achieve financial freedom, for you to find the job of your dreams. That is a whole nother video and another topic we'll talk about is listening to your heart, your gut, your intuition. It's all the same thing. So bringing it back to patience, where do you need to exercise patience in your life? Are you straining too hard? I think a great sign of this is a physical sign and a mental sign. Are you mentally super stressed out? Are you physically super tight? Up here on your traps, your neck, right? That's where the majority of us, and your hips, your butt, that's where a lot of us carry a lot of our tension. Uh, so if you are really tight in your neck, if you're really tight in your shoulders, if you're really tight and your jaws clenched, if you're stressed mentally, if you're exhausted and fatigued, that's a great sign. Take a deep breath, relax, because the chances are what you want is actually really close, but you need to relax, you need to chill out energetically and just exercise a little bit of patience to allow this thing to develop a little bit more. Uh, for me personally, and I'll use myself as an example, because again, I think it's easier for us to understand certain important ideas when it's outside of ourselves, right? And then when we see it outside of ourselves, we can bring it back in and go, oh, shit, that's me. <laughs> so look at it, look at my situation. Um, I know that I, I know that this is my path, my journey to be a speaker, to be a coach, 
to be a writer. I already am. Like, I already am. I've already written a book and have done speaking and stuff. I know this is what I'm meant for. And I know that I'm meant to be, you know, part of it is about fitness, being a, a coach physically, helping people with their body. But specifically what I'm talking about is growing this YouTube channel. I know that this is my journey. I know this is a big part of my path is to touch mi literally millions of people to help them get in touch with themselves, get in touch with what they want, and to be graceful and enjoy the process along the way. Now, I mean, right now, I only have like five subscribers or something like that, but I've only put out like three or four videos in like a few months. So my commitment yesterday, the video that um, I made about the 5-5 gateway, big numbers and change is that I'm going to integrate daily videos or as many videos and build the habit and get out of my comfort zone in order to build videos consistently. But patience, allowing this thing to happen. My uh, good buddy and old workout partner, Tomei, um, or Tao Physique, I should say, his channel, Tao Physique, and now he's got another channel, Tao Durden. Um, we started YouTube channels, fitness YouTube channels at the same time. He's up to like 330, 340,000 or something like that. That was like six, seven years ago. So his shit didn't happen overnight. My shit is not gonna happen overnight. All I can do is focus on my process. All I can do is put in the work. And this is something that my heart calls me to do that truly, as I've said before, as I speak into the camera, I'm just so grateful because what I'm doing is I'm sharing my heart. I'm sharing my voice, I'm sharing my wisdom and my lessons. And shoot, I have so much to learn, I don't know anything, but at least I get to share with what I have learned so far in hopes that it will help you. So again, knowing that this is my calling and listening to my heart, my intuition, that's the first step. But where you are in your journey with whatever you wanna build, whether it's again, money, uh, a relationship, a partner, everything is about building, man. Everything is about patience. Everything is about putting in the work and letting things naturally happen. Right now I am planting the seeds. I am planting the foundation for my YouTube channel for my future success because this is what I want. This is what I want in my heart. But patience, this shit is gonna take time. It might take me a year. It might take me two years. It might take me five years like the bamboo tree and then all of a sudden I go up to 100,000, 200,000 people, right? It may take me, you know, four or five years and I might only be at 10, 20,000 people. I don't care, man, because this is what I want to do. This is the calling of my heart. This is what I'm meant to do. And so I need to learn and practice patience. This is about me practicing what I preach. And I certainly do on a lot of levels, but again, we're all just human beings. I'm no different. You know, I've got a lot to learn and practice as well. So take my situation and apply it to your own and look at yourself now. What are you needing to exercise patience with in your life? Where is that grace? Where is that harmony? Where is that flow need to happen? Where do you need to be more at ease? Where can you just relax and allow yourself to enjoy what you're actually doing because I'm enjoying these videos now after yesterday and today man something is different something has clicked and I'm just enjoying speaking into the camera I'm enjoying sharing my thoughts I'm enjoying sharing my wisdom in my heart and it's coming from such a pure and loving place but again I get to be patient because <laughs> this ain't gonna happen overnight and I don't think I'd want it to man I think if it all came right away I wouldn't respect and enjoy the journey and the hardships that I'm learning to overcome because I'm transforming into a different person. Uh, my public speaking skills will become better. My video editing skills will become better. The, my ability to build habits and develop willpower will all improve. As these things improve, this is me transforming. This is part of the change. Um, it doesn't happen overnight, so we've got to be patient with ourselves. So that is the message for today. The question is, what do you need to be more patient and graceful with in your life? Where do you need to relax and let yourself just enjoy the process? Or do you need to pivot? It's okay to pivot. But at least give yourself some time to breathe and relax and lower the energy a second. And just breathe so that maybe you could see this from a different angle. Maybe you can see this from a different perspective. When we slow down and allow ourselves to not only enjoy the process, not only is it more enjoyable, uh, we can see things from a different angle. When we see things from a different angle, it might offer the solution that you've been pushing so hard and, and just like, trying to get. 
If you take a deep breath and relax and look at it from a different angle, it might actually be right in front of you, you might find out today. So be patient, relax, trust your process, continue to operate in faith. I appreciate you watching this. Uh, if this was helpful, please share it with a friend, uh, like and subscribe, uh, sharing my journey. I'd love to get this out into the YouTube algorithm and that is by liking and subscribing so that we can help as many people as possible because that's really what it's about. Uh, peace, love, and light to you and yours. I'm grateful for you, and I'll see you next time.